This morning, questions are growing about Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's health after revelations that Austin was hospitalized in the intensive care unit for days without telling the president, key staff members, or the public. Still, White House officials say President Biden has no plans to fire Austin. You show confidence in Secretary Austin, sir. The president ignored shouted questions about Austin Monday, but his administration is now facing bipartisan outrage. It would appear that Lord Austin is the person who needs to resign, or his chief of staff, or both of them. Former President Trump arguing Austin should be fired for improper professional conduct and dereliction of duty. Democrats are also demanding answers. Armed Services Committee Chairman Jack Reed writing, this lack of disclosure must never happen again. I do hope that there is a, a review to ensure that there were, wasn't any jeopardizing of national security. Austin, a four-star general, sits atop the chain of command between the president and the U.S. military, required at all times to respond to a national security emergency. He pledged transparency during his Senate confirmation hearing two years ago. We will be transparent with you. Pentagon officials say Austin was initially in the ICU and now remains at Walter Reed. But citing privacy concerns, they will not elaborate on the medical issue he's facing. The Pentagon says Austin, who was conscious but in severe pain, was rushed to the hospital by ambulance on New Year's Day citing complications from a recent medical procedure. The next day, the Pentagon transferred certain responsibilities to his deputy, who was vacationing in Puerto Rico, without telling her why until January 4th, the same day senior officials at the White House and the president were finally informed. A Pentagon spokesman says Austin has no plans to resign after he initially accepted responsibility in a statement, writing that he recognizes he could have done a better job ensuring the public was appropriately informed. Also overnight, we learned that the Marine Corps' top general had successful open heart surgery Monday after a near fatal, uh, nearly fatal heart attack last fall. The Marine Corps immediately announcing that in a statement, which of course comes in stark contrast to how Defense Secretary Austin and his aides handled his episode with his health issues over the past week. Hoda. All right, Peter Alexander, Forrest there at the White House. Peter, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.